Hey, and welcome back to Smoky Ribs. Any of you that's been following my channel for any amount of time know that I have some pizza videos on my channel as well as so many other things. And uh, one thing I've noticed about all my pizza videos is that I have to explain each and every time how I make my pizza dough. And what I thought about doing this time was just make a video strictly on my pizza dough. That way, any pizza video I do going forward, all I have to do is point you back towards this video to see how I've done it. Saves a lot of time overall. Now, this is the flour that I use. This is a Napoli. And uh, with this, that's how I make my Neapolitan-style crust. I use a Neapolitan-style crust on every pizza I do, regardless of what kind of toppings go on there, because it absolutely works fantastic on like the wood-fired ovens, the Kamado cookers, the Weber kettle pizza, which I'll be using today. This works very well because it's a very wet dough. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you how I do my pizza crust. If you want a good backyard barbecue till you get your feel, you come to the right place, rest your own smoky ribs. Smoky ribs. Smoky ribs. All right, the first ingredient going in is 500 grams of the Napoli Tippo zero zero flour double zero it's a very fine flour and is made for pizza crust over in italy now we got 10 grams of salt going in i've got three grams of rapid rise yeast going in 325 grams of water i'm using a bottled purify water all right i've attached my dough hook we're going to need this for five minutes on low All right, after five minutes of kneading, your dough should pull off the sides, just like you see here. Sure. Now, the thing about this dough is it's very wet, and that's exactly what it's supposed to be, as you'll see right here as I raise this. Very wet dough. That's what you want. Now, on our cutting board, we're going to take the exact same flour that we used to make the dough. We're going to sprinkle some about just so we can work with this very wet, sticky dough. All right, now you want to add a little bit of flour to your hands and rub those in well because, like I said, this is a really sticky dough. It's going to be a little hard to work with at first. Just pour your dough out onto the cutting board. All right, now you want to take some of the flour, a little bit that's there on the cutting board, and just flour your surface to where now you can work with it. What we're going to do is turn this into a dough ball, one big dough ball. All right, now you want to take some good extra virgin olive oil. Just want to drizzle a little bit about that right there. All you want to do is coat this dough ball real good on all sides. Just like that. Now you want to drape a towel over the top of this. We're going to place this in the oven. The oven is off. We just need a good, warm, dry place for this to rise for two hours. We'll see you in two hours. I've been rising around three hours, maybe three and a half. I said two, but three and a half. It's not going to hurt it. You could actually let this rise, put it in the refrigerator, and go overnight for even added flavor. As you can see, I have more than doubled in size. All right, we're gonna deflate this. We're gonna pour it out onto this flour surface. Very sticky, very wet. We're just gonna roll it around, try to pick up a little bit of this flour here on the cutting board to where we can work with it somewhat. All right, now what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to separate this so I can make three dough balls. This will be enough for three individual pizzas. We're just going to guesstimate at this. We'll do one here. And we'll do one here. Now you want to form these into individual dough balls. Just like that. 
what I've got is I've got paper plates. I've rubbed a little olive oil on the bottom of these. I'm going to place the dough balls on each plate covered with saran wrap. Going to let these rise around an hour. All right, basically this is it. I've let it rise one more hour, and as you can see, it's doubled in size, no problem. And uh, at this point, you would simply roll it out on a floured surface, or you could do the hand toss like I do at times. And one thing I want to mention in closing is this flour that I use that makes this very, very good crust is available on Amazon.com. I'll have a link in the description box. That's where I buy it. I can't find nothing like that in my area, and chances are you can't either, but you can get it there. So until next time, smoke your ribs.